Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Taurus G3. Highly anticipated and very much requested G3. Made by Taurus in 9mm. Taurus calls it a full size handgun. I consider it a compact size similar with the Glock 19 with the 4 inch barrel 15 round mag. The Glock 19 is... A compact however Taurus calls this a full-size handgun and I understand that because so many of Taurus handguns are subcompact but it shares many of the same features as the Taurus G2C the very much loved Taurus G2C I must say if we look at the grip texturing you know the the way it looks the way it feels the memory indentation there and there all right, those remain the same. If we look at the positioning of the slide lock and the thumb safety, pretty identical. Even on top of the slide, the G2C has a loaded chamber bar. All right, here we have a sight hole indicator, but you know the, the majority of that looks very similar. And for the most part, they are. But there are a few differences, and we need to discuss that. Now, the MSRP on this is $345.23. Now, if my math serves me correctly... The G2C MSRP is right around $317. So the MSRP is $28 more for the G3. So if this is selling for $200, 210 it is my guess that the G3 will sell for about $30 more than that. And that is just me throwing numbers out there. But it's a little bit educated because we know so much about the G2C. But here it is. It's ergonomically pleasing. Three-figure contact. It does come with a set uh, a 15 and a 17 round mag. All right, and the 17 round mag has a spacer right there. Both yellow followers. Both nice fit. And they will fit in the G2C. I know a lot of people are going to ask about that, and I checked it out, and they definitely work in the G2C. Locks the slide back and everything. But the 17 round mag is nice. It's got nice ejection there as well. And of course, they lock back very nicely. I already mentioned the thumb safety. That remains unchanged. Three dot sights, um, drift adjustable, pinned in front sight, sight hole indicator, front serrations, all right, for those press checks. Full pick rail on the dust cover. But the one thing that I noticed that is a big improvement is that trigger bar safety. Over here, we've got a blade. Okay, you see that? It's a blade. Here, we've got more real estate. All right, so it's not a blade. It's, it's much wider, and it is serrated. Partially skeletonized, all right? It, it doesn't... Uh, you know, it's one solid piece. It doesn't go all the way through like a 1911 trigger, but it's got a cool look to it. So it's uh, got a better feel on the finger, but it is also, let me get rid of that bag, a single action trigger that I measure right under five pounds. If you like the trigger on the G2C, you're going to love the trigger on the G3. Okay, it feels better on the finger. That blade's not cutting into the, the fatty part of your trigger finger. And that single action reset is identical. And it does have restrike capability. You can always add an accessory on there too. If we look at the business end of these, they're the same. Like they look identical. Like you, from this angle, you wouldn't be able to tell which one is which. So if we compare it in size, let me put this 15 round mag with an M&P 2.0. Okay, we'll take a look here and we'll see that it's just a little bit shorter. All right, and we'll look at the grip and we'll see that they're they're pretty pretty close in size. So they have the M&P 2.0 very close in size. And then a Glock 19 right here. We can see that the G3 is a little bit shorter there too, both 4 inch barrels and... That's pretty pretty darn close too. Maybe just a little bit longer with the G3. Let's take a look at this. Same disassemble process. Pull the trigger and off comes the slide. There's your polymer frame. Very light. Here we have a captured recoil spring. 
and guide rod and the four inch barrel all right there we have our safety drop safety plunger and then of course the trigger bar safety the manual safety the loaded chamber indicator all of that so it's i i think those who love those who love the g2c are going to really enjoy the g3 that four inch barrel there we go let's get it on the scale the unloaded weight and we'll take a look at, at the uh, m p 2.0 as well the unloaded weight one pound eight and five eighths ounces we move that to just ounces we're looking at 24 and five eighths ounces so just under 25 ounces here we have an unloaded m p and that is weighing in at 26 and three quarters so it's it's lighter than an m p it has about the same size it's got a very nice feel to it you know i do like those front serrations full pick rail a little longer slide but still you know ccw weight to it and also it won't break break the bank with that msrp of 345 i have a feeling you guys are gonna like it and i look forward to getting this to the range as well as comparing it with other handguns if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe